Commissioner. You sent for me? Gotta pack up, Steve. Pack up? When'd you ever give me a chance to unpack? All right, where to this time? Your plane leaves for Rangoon, Burma in one hour. Burma? You think of the duckiest places. You're going over there to find out who killed uh, Kent Jackson and why. Kent Jackson, the newspaper correspondent? Yes, his body was discovered in Rangoon this morning. What information we have indicates that he was posing as a European political refugee. Why? We don't know, but judging from some of his investigations of the past, I'd say that he was on the trail of something pretty hot. Any leads at all? One, a Burmese girl named Linya. She's uh, disappeared, and uh, well, that's all I know. Oh, fine. I might have known. Okay, who's my contact over in Burma? Chambers at our legation over there. He'll fill you in on the background. Steve, get over there. Talk to Chambers. Track down this linear girl and then go anywhere and do anything you have to to find out who killed Kent Jackson and why. Well, that's it. You've got your assignment. Good luck. I've got my assignment. I'm on my way to Burma yet to track down a missing girl named Linya and find out who killed an American newspaper man named Kent Jackson. And why. When I find the girl, maybe I'll have my killer. If not, I've got to get her to put the finger on somebody else and I've got a strong hunch that someone else will be trying to do likewise to me. It's Friday when I arrive in Rangoon. It's hot as usual. I head for Chambers House and it's after dark when I arrive. Mitchell, on the surface, Jackson's killing looks like a routine police case. And yet... You think he was onto something big? That's one of the factors. There's also the matter of Linya. Yeah, the commissioner mentioned something about her. We must find her, Steve. Linya's family dates back hundreds of years here in Burma. It has been held in the highest regard for generations. I see. The people are quite upset over the fact that her disappearance followed on the heels of Jackson's murder. Jackson was an American, so in some odd way, they more or less hold us responsible for her fate. Was there any connection between Linya and Jackson? We don't know for sure. All we do know is that they were seen together quite a bit just before Jackson was killed. Right after the shooting, she disappeared, huh? Yes, it was too obvious to be a coincidence. <laughs> See anything? Whoever it was didn't feel like staying. Well, someone obviously doesn't want you here, Mitchell. Which makes me all the more interested in finding out what Jackson was onto. Well, I can give you a little of that. Huh? Somebody here in Ragoon has been receiving these political refugees for a price, then contacting the European country involved, and for more money, delivering the refugees back to them. Sounds like a real swell deal. Yeah. Well, looks like Jackson was on to whoever was running the racket. In which case, one of two things. If Linya is Jackson's killer, in which case she's playing hard to find. Or she could be a witness to the shooting. In which case she could be dead. We must clear this up, Mitchell, one way or the other. Any leads on this, Linya? You know, she was sort of a hostess at a French restaurant known as Papa Valdez, about two blocks north of here. Papa Valdez, okay, I'll have to drop in there. I've got a hunch that on this deal, I'm a little short on time. Yes, if Linda's guilty, you must uncover. And if she's innocent, you've got to find her before the killers do. That's just what I mean. Well, remember, life's cheap in Burma. <laughs> Stop. What are you doing? My name is Jean Romorca. Uh-huh. I see you are familiar with my name. Perhaps it is because you once know my brother, Stan Romorca. No, no, no. You're mistaken. I never heard of him in my life. We'll take 1,000 rupees from your cash machine there. I can't. It's impossible. I'm too old. 1,000 rupees. No, no, no. Then I will kill you. Do not answer. Hey, open up, will you? Do as he says, and tell him to go. Remember, 
will be a pleasure to shoot you if you try anything foolish. Oh, I'm sorry, monsieur. I cannot serve you on toast for the night. I didn't come here to eat. I came in here for information. Information, monsieur? Yeah. Are you, uh, Papa Velder? Oui, monsieur. I came to talk to you about a girl named Linya. Oh, Linya. Yeah. Oui, monsieur. Give me a drink while you tell me about her, huh? Oui, monsieur. Linia was an excellent hostess. Her name alone brought me much business. You know, but she hasn't come to work for several days. I don't know. Merci, monsieur. You have saved my life. Yeah, what's the deal? Robbery. He came in just as I was closing and he demanded my money. You got a telephone? Oui, monsieur. Next room. Here, keep him covered. I'll call the police. What happened? He tried to go. Well, he's gone, all right. Hey, you go call the police. Please. As far as I'm concerned, it is an open and shut case. The robber tried to escape, he was shot and killed. It's very simple. Yeah, providing robbery was his motive, Lieutenant Ramat. What else could it have been, monsieur? Did he ever mention the girl Linya to you, or Kent Jackson? Linya? Kent Jackson? <laughs> no. Why do you ask? Oh, just looking for a possible tie-in. May I inquire as to the reason for your interest in the Kent Jackson case, Mr. Mitchell? Now, you were telling me about this girl, Linya. Go on. Well, several weeks uh, ago, I, the man named Jackson began to spend a great deal of time in my place. And I noticed that he frequently waited for Linya to get through with her work. Well, I assume he was escorting her home. But then, on the night that Mr. Jackson was shot, she vanished. Poof! Just like that. And that's all I can tell you. That's enough. You can close now. Merci. In fact, there's no reason for any of us to further interrupt our night's sleep. The case is closed. Not quite, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Ramon, I'd like to have a little talk with you. Certainly, Mr. Mitchell. Hmm. You were in charge of the investigation of the Jackson murder? Yes. Thank you. Lieutenant, was the thought ever entertained that Linya might have committed the murder? Even thinking such an accusation about one so popular as a member of the Singh family is dangerous, Mr. Mitchell. Besides, I'm convinced that Linya could not have committed the murder. Oh? If she had left here at the time the witnesses stated she could not have come within two blocks of the scene of the murder, I've walked off the distance myself. Wait a minute. In that case, she couldn't have even been a witness. Correct, Mr. Mitchell. I shall be perfectly honest with you. As far as the police are concerned, the search for Linya is over. How come? Because it has been so requested by the only other living member of the Singh family, Linya's great uncle, Dali Singh. Dali Singh? A priest? One of Burma's show places, the Temple of Morpa, dating back nearly 2,000 years. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. If Dali Singh doesn't want his grandniece found, that must mean he knows where she is. Rangoon is a very large city, Mr. Mitchell. We're not sure that she is still alive. Well, look at it this way. If Linia is alive, she's in hiding. She might be in hiding in Morpar Temple. How do I go about getting there? There's an excursion bus that goes there each afternoon. Well, I may not be the only one looking for her, but... I must know whoever else is. Well, how do you intend to accomplish this? That's up to you. I'd like you to have it go through the grapevine around town that I know where Linya is and that I'm taking the bus to Moorpar Temple tomorrow afternoon. Mitchell, I hope you know what you're doing. I will have several of my men accompany you. No, no. That might scare off the person or persons that I want to meet. Well, this is a very dangerous plan. You know a better one? Well, no.
Well, remember, mm -hmm. from this moment on, you have made a perfect target of yourself. So, be careful. That's exactly what I intend to be the most of. Careful. The next afternoon, I take the ancient excursion bus for the Temple of Moorpar, wondering whether it'll lead me to Linnea, Jackson's killer, or to a slug. Now that I'm making a target of myself, maybe I'd better try to get a line on the possible target shooters. My fellow passengers, they're all here. There are a few natives and a girl, the kind of a girl you'd vote the one you'd most like to take a trip to the Temple of Moorpar with. A uh, little guy carrying a raincoat and a smooth-looking Egyptian. You look real glum. I was waiting for someone to unglum me. What's your name? Steve. What's yours? Marge. Hi, Marge. You got a light? Yeah. You're a long way from home, aren't you, Steve? That's funny. I was just thinking the same thing about you. Oh, I work in Rangoon. Oh. I sing at the Cafe Kazan. I see. This is my day off, and I get sort of jumpy for something to do. Been in Burma a long time? <laughs> about three lifetimes. It's a lot. What's the matter? That gent with the raincoat. He seems to be trying to take in everything we have to say. Yeah. You know him? Oh, I've seen him around a few times. I think his name is Lazarus. I see. Excuse me a minute, Mark. Hi. I'm afraid you have the advantage of me. I don't think you've met. I know. You seemed rather interested in what I was saying to the young lady over there. You are mistaken, sir. I'm merely enjoying the temple. I hope you'll forgive my intrusion. I could not deny myself the privilege of paying homage to such beauty. You're a real flowery type guy, aren't you? Looks like you just weren't meant to be lonely, Marge. What'd you say your name was, Buster? Camise, at your service. Oh. Meet Steve. I'm indeed honored. I hope you'll forgive my intrusion on your... tatate. Oh, sure. Camise, Egyptian, huh? Cairo. And you are an American? Yeah, green print. <laughs> uh, what brings you to Burma? Possibly the same thing that brings you here. What's that? I sense that we are two kindred spirits, each seeking adventure and willing to travel around the world to find it. Just seeking adventure, huh? I'm a romantic at heart. Else why should I leave my large estate in Cairo to see such ancient relics as this old temple? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> the quest for adventure often leads to unlikely surroundings. It sure does. <laughs> And now, please excuse me. It'll be a pleasure. I hope that we shall meet again. Yeah. Get a load of him. I am a romantic at heart. That's bad. <laughs> How about you and I taking a look around? Mm -mm, I've had it. All these old relics give me the creeps. Why do you come here, then? Well, it's a nice ride. They have a lovely garden outside. You want to join me? No, I think I'll stay inside. I like old relics. Well, I hope we meet again before I'm one. I stick around the main room for a few minutes, but nothing happens. Finally, I figure I'd better find the head man, Dalai Singh, and see if I can get any information about Linya out of him. Talk to you. 
said I'd like to talk to you. Hey, would you mind focusing your eyes on me for a minute? I must apologize. I was withdrawn. Sit down, my son. What is it? I'm looking for Dolly Singh. I am Dolly Singh. Oh, well, then, you're Linya's granduncle? That is the earthly relationship, yes. It was quite an earthly reception I got a few minutes ago. I do not understand. That urn that almost fell on me. You must pardon me. I was immersed in meditation. I heard nothing. Well, I guess I wasn't that immersed. It sounded pretty noisy to me. What do you wish of me? I'm trying to find Linya. To what purpose? I want to find out what she knows about something that happened a couple of nights ago. Is that your true purpose, my son? That and to protect her from whoever is after her. Lean closer. Now, gaze into my eyes. What are you trying to do, hypnotize me? A moment longer. So, there is honesty in your eyes, my son. You have passed the first test. Well, that's nice to know. When it is dark, you will be by the statue of a hundred arms. Statue of a hundred arms? It is near the main entrance of the temple. Okay. Everything will be accomplished. Depart in peace. An hour later, I'm in front of the statue with the hundred arms where Dalai Singh has told me to wait. The minutes drag by and I begin to feel like a turkey the day before Thanksgiving. I keep waiting for the ax. Wait a minute. You're Linya. Let the man speak first, my child. Well, I sing. Yes, Mr. Mitchell. What is this? You asked me to wait for you at the Statue of the Hundred Arms. Two guys sneak up on me and drag me right back here to you again. You wish to find Linya. I must use every precaution to protect her. Linya, what do you know about the murder of Kent Jackson? One moment, Mr. Mitchell. You accept this girl as Linya? Well, you just got through telling me that... No, I did not say she was Linya. Well, who is she? You have passed the second test. If you meant harm to Linya, you would know that this girl is not she. Oh, great. Can't we do away with the examinations? What have I got to do, get straight A's? You have proved yourself. I will direct Linya to you. Where is she? This temple goes back into solid rock. She is hidden in one of the innermost recesses. And my hunch was right. Wait here. After almost an hour, I get a feeling whoever killed Kent Jackson is in the temple. They've tried for me, and it's possible they've tailed Dalai Singh to Linya's hiding place. I decide to ask a few questions of the other priests. Carry a gun when you enjoy the temple? Where is Linya? 
How should I know? The Dalai Singh didn't tell you before you killed him. Before I... Hey, wait a minute. I can't wait that long. You have exactly three seconds to tell me where she is. One. Two. Go! <laughs> Lazarus gives me the slip. Dalai Singh is dead, and Linya is somewhere in a maze of corridors which probably could hide an army. I could hunt for days and never find her. Then I get my first good break. Do you know where Linya is hiding? Look, Dalai Singh is dead. They'll get Linya too if you don't take me to her. You know Dalai Singh trusted me. I passed the test. Now take me to Linya before it's too late. So you're Linya. I'm Steve Mitchell. You've been hiding here ever since you left Rangoon? My great uncle Dalai Singh sent me here. I do not understand why I'm in danger. I know nothing about the murder of Kent Jackson. You must know something. Otherwise, this doesn't make sense. You know what Jackson was investigating? He said somebody was smuggling in European political refugees and then selling them back to the country they came from. Yeah. Did he mention any names? No. We haven't much time now. Think. He mentioned no names. Kent Jackson was at Papa Valdez's restaurant the night he was murdered, right? Yes. When Jackson left, did you leave with him? No, about 15 minutes later. Then you couldn't have been at the scene when he was killed. And you spent all that evening at home. No, I went out again. Oh? I uh, forgot a present I bought for a friend. I went back to the restaurant to get it. Then what? Nothing. I had left it on a table just inside the door. I picked it up and left. There was somebody at one of the tables. Hello, Buster. She's the one I saw when I went back to the restaurant. Yeah. I've been hunting you for two weeks. Thanks for finding her for me. Looks like I've been real smart about this. Oh, let's not weep in our milk, Buster. Well, come on, kids. Cheer up. You want little Marge to tell you a joke or something? As a matter of fact, I got a real good one stored up for the two of you. It'll kill you. Like I say, we can't all win. Drop that gun. Drop it. Well, for partners, you two don't seem to get along so well together. Partners, hardly. I'm an old friend of Dalai Singh. He asked my help protecting Linya. I tried my best. He speaks the truth. Well, Lazarus, uh, looks like I've had some wrong ideas about you. It was mutual. I only regret that I failed to prevent the murder of Dalai Singh. Dalai Singh? Dead? Yes, undoubtedly by the hand of this woman here. But she'll be punished. I can assure you of that. Papa Valdez! You have been most difficult to find, my dear. Now I get it. You two have been running the racket together. Smart boy, Buster. You killed Jackson because you thought he had something on you. Then when you went back to report to Valdez, Linnea saw you two together. You've been chasing her ever since. Come, my dear. Let us attend to business. Who was that guy who had the gun on you in your restaurant? Who was he, really? One of those immigrants that you've been bilking? The brother of one of them? He came in to kill me. Oh, by the way, thank you very much for saving my life. Marge. Okay, Pop. Wait. No, don't take me. Save it, here. I only try to help a friend. Please. You certainly took nice, brave men to work with. Look at him. Please, Squealing don't. like a stuck pig. Don't kill me, please, young lady. Please. <laughs> Well, Marge, uh, looks like Lazarus was a little braver than you figured. You're welcome to think anything you want of us. I doubt that you'll have anything to back it up. Afraid you're wrong there, Marge. They have ballistics even in Burma. We'll go down and see Lieutenant Marat and find out. Lazarus, you take care of Linya. Yeah, like you say, Marge, you can't always win. Five will get you ten that the slug that killed Jackson came out of one of these. All right, Marge. You too, Buster. <laughs>